Hello, in this video, I will be uh, covering how uh, you can export the 3D model from Google Poly into a USDZ file format for Apple AR uh, for any Apple devices like iOS or macOS. So let's just uh, get started. So you know that uh, there's a Google website called Google Poly and you can find a lot of uh, 3D models. Uh, you can also find some 3D models at Sketchfab. It's highly recommended you you have a look and browse. Some of the 3D models are free, some you need to pay. But let's uh, for today, let's focus on the Google Poly. And I'll search a model uh, Pagoda. I know there are a bunch of them. Um, you can select, I think, yeah, this is kind of cool as well, but I, I'll be using this one. Google uh, is Pagoda by, I think this is actually created by Google it's, uh, themselves. Um, I'll download this. Basically this one free to use as long as you credit the author. Okay, uh, I credit the author Poly by Google. So I download uh, these objects and you'll get the zip. I'll just jump into Finder. Um, let's download it again as OBJ. Um, for now we can use OBJ because we can easily convert OBJ into a USDZ file format. So let's uh, go into my download folder. Get up there. So there's the Pagoda. Um, this is the zip. I can just extract it. This is the one that I've already done. This is the final result. Uh, converting from OBJ to US USDZ itself is actually pretty simple. Um, if you open like a, a terminal and you go to that particular folder, in this case, it's my folder downloads and under this folder with a long name. Um, the process is really, really pretty simple. I'll show you. You just need to run a command, um, xc run, and then usdz converter and then you'll get um, some help but uh, basically you need to have Xcode 10 um, for this to, to work and then make sure that you can run this command line uh, in the terminal okay so USDZ converter and then you just type in like uh, Pagoda OBJ and Pagoda USDZ and this will actually do the conversion but you will not have a USDZ with a texture so it's a uh, missing a texture so in order to fix the texture part you just need to specify okay you need to have like a color map and what do what is our texture name pagoda base color okay pagoda base color dot png and normally i also add this val tag for both um, ascii and then What's gonna happen is that it's gonna create this USDA file format that you can you can also observe. Uh, whenever you find any any issue with the texture, you can fix it over here and you can assign um, the texture uh, yourself. So as a result, you're gonna have this USDZ file format that will work as AR. So if I just airdrop it into my iPhone, I'll do a quick uh, airdrop and perhaps here i'll create a reflector app i'll run reflector app and i'll save the usdz and i will do the mirroring okay now you are looking at my iphone this is how the USDZ looks like on iOS 12. On any device that's, run, uh, that's supporting iOS 12 and then also can support this AR quick loop, this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, so yeah, so that's basically it. If you want to convert any 3D model, this is what you do. Um, sometimes you have 3D models that, uh, that's not clean or you need to clean up. I recommend you to use uh, something like Blender um, because Blender is open source and free and you can do that pretty easily so I can actually 
show you uh, very very quickly if you open blender and you want to check like any 3d format you just uh, in this case we have like obj so yes you just import um, obj and go to your downloads folder find your model so this is the model right and you just turn on the, the, the texture there you go that's our 3d if there is any like problem with the with the polygon maybe non-manifold or overlapping polygons you can fix it over here uh, you can see it also with light and things like that just uh, pretty easily and then you can export into a different type of model depending on your need ideally there should be like usdz exporter for blender but um, i can talk about that at some other point thanks again for tuning in um, hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time bye